everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Keisha. I blog over at kjaggers.com. Most of you know that already. That link is below. So I'm back with quite a bit and this is going to be one long, long video. So hopefully you hang in there, grab a cup of tea or a cup of coffee and hang out with me for an hour. I've missed you guys so much. So in terms of the divorce, um, I'm going to talk to you more in detail about lots of other stuff later down the road. But right now, everything is still going, you know, forward. And um, I'm in the middle of packing and moving some of my stuff to where I'm going. I can't, I will show some of it because it's so freaking beautiful where I'm going. Um, but I'm not going to show you a whole, whole lot. Um, because I still want to keep that private from my soon-to-be ex-husband and, you know, his family and all that. So, I'm just kind of keeping that quiet. I'm keeping the P.O. box and I'll be checking it regularly and, um, you know, all my mail and everything will go there. And if you want to send a card or just want to say hi, definitely send it to the P.O. box. I have, um, the address in the down bar and also on my blog under contact me. So, many of you have asked about that. That's where you can find me. So, um, I don't even know where to start, but I will tell you that, you know, the first few days was really hard and even making that first video was really hard. There were certain things that just got to me, but honestly, I feel so much better. Like I feel happier. I feel like a weight has been lifted. There's no bipolar man running around my house, slamming cabinets. It is night and day and I went to a psychologist um, a couple times and you know Scott wanted me to do that and um, he's like go to the psychologist and get on meds and we can be together and I'm like huh maybe I should try this for my family I was totally against it so I went to the psychotherapist and she the second visit you know the first visit I was crying and telling her everything that was going on and my faults his faults all that kind of stuff. And the second time I went in, I'm like, you know, Scott wants me to do this. He wants medication. And she said that's control and manipulation. And that she seen no reason to put me on medication. That I was not a blubbery mess. That I could still hold a conversation. And that, you know, my feelings are completely normal for this moment in time. So that's done. I stopped going to the psychotherapist. I'm going to a church that my grandma was a member of talking to actually one of my grandmother's friends. It's not for handouts. It's not for a place to stay. It's so, honestly, I can stay on track. It's within my budget. And I go every Wednesday at 3 p.m. So, I mean, it might change if my work schedule changes, but that's what it is. Many of you are wanting to know what I'm doing for work. I am in the restaurant business. I am actually cooking. I was going to be waiting tables, but that got switched. And I think I'm going straight into management because of my degrees. Um, super happy. Like, the women I work with are hilarious. And um, it's it's cool as hell. I'm, I'm loving it. So, that's that. Now, in this video, in this vlog that you're going to see, you're going to see Russell. He is the father of my first son. And you're going to see him in just a little bit. Um, we are still just friends. We are not sleeping together. We are not doing any of that. Um, do I hope one day to? Probably. Like, seriously, you guys. Um, he's still, like, someone very special to me. And I don't trust hardly anyone, but I do trust him, especially with a lot of my feelings and my thoughts. And um, he's definitely someone I can talk to. So in addition to feeling better, I've had him around to, to help. And that might seem weird. It might seem like a rebound kind of thing, but it's really not. Obviously, we were together for a long time and had a baby. And... Um, He's here and I'm here, and that hasn't happened in years. He's lived far away. I've lived far away, and it's just been so fun having him around. We've done a lot together. You're going to see some of that footage coming up, so just hang out. Um, you know, he's just somebody that I respect, believe it or not, and I'm totally grateful for all of his help, all of his love and kindness and funny humor because it's important to laugh. It's important to feel better. And my mom has talked to him and she's, I think, thankful that he's here helping me in a very 
rough kind of time. It was only really rough on me for the first couple of days. And then it was like, you know what? Day three, it was a little bit easier. Day four, it was easier. Day five, I was feeling like, holy shit, this is amazing. There's no man that's bossing me around. If I want to go to McDonald's at midnight, I can. Um, all of that kind of stuff. And it, it each day got easier. Today, actually, um, is Sunday, and I helped move some of Brittany's stuff out with my ex-husband today, and Russell was helping with that, and I actually twisted my ankles so bad, and my ankles all swelled up. It's just a mess, but um, I wanted to jump in front of the camera. I wanted to say hello. I also wanted to let you know that that gossip site is down. I have no idea why. They might put it back up. Who cares? It is down, and that is freaking amazing, amazing. Um, I don't know what's happening with the stuff in the house yet. I haven't gotten the eviction papers, um, but I have taken quite a bit of stuff out to where I'm staying, um, you know, personal effects and stuff. And Scott and I were talking just a little bit, and he tried to call me baby, and I'm like, yeah, never gonna happen again. Keep your mouth shut. Um, his sister's still running her mouth on, you know, social media and on Facebook, and that's fine. Like I said, she wants to be loyal to him, and I understand why. It's her brother. Um, he's still a piece of shit, but it's her brother. Um, like my other sister-in-law, I really am not mad at her. So if you're watching this, just know that I still care about you, and you still my you can still email me. I just don't want anything I'm saying getting back to him or anything like that or anything that's going on. So that's why I've kept private. But um, we are not getting along. Like the social worker from Louisiana had emailed me like 10 times. And thank God I kept copies of all this. And on the last email, because I didn't want to call her, I didn't want to tell her like stuff. Um, she said, call me, like, or, you know, I'm going to send somebody. So I called her, and Scott had a meeting with social services, I believe, on Friday. And, um, because he called my best friend and told her. And, you know, people's all pissed off about that. But if he's not doing anything wrong, if he's not snorting his pills or driving with beer open containers, which is something he would do a lot, I knew he wasn't drunk. So I was just more upset that we had impressionable young kids in the car. But... If he's not doing any of that stuff, and if the allegations against him that are really serious are not true, then he has nothing to worry about. Um, I'm so conflicted about that because I don't feel like Zane should be with him, but I don't feel like Zane should be with a stranger. And I love him, and he probably doesn't realize that. He probably doesn't care. And um, I'm sure it was looked at as a, a form of aggression. But we've been dealing with the same social worker for like two years now. And I'm not lying to her. I feel like the only way to get through this process is honestly. And, you know, everybody's bill comes due sooner or later. Um, and I believe Scott's bill is coming due. Um, I, I feel like, I don't feel like Zane's in harm. Um, I don't know that for sure. But that's for them to figure out. I'm not a professional. I am just trying to get through my own stuff, and hopefully between the first video about divorce and this video, you will you will see um, that I'm feeling better, and I'm on no medication except some Advil PM and some Advil today for this. Look, let me see if I can get my foot up there. See that ankle all swelled up? That's where the stitches and stuff were. So it's all messed up, but I'm on no medication, and um, I feel amazing, and I'm sleeping well, and I'm making new friends and enjoying old friends. So I hope you enjoy this vlog. It's kind of pieced together, and I'm going to film the end right here, and I will see you guys later. So enjoy the video. I hope you leave me comments, and let me know what your thoughts are, and I will see you in a little while um, when you're done watching it. Just keep watching. They are, they are warming up.
The Bell of Louisville. That was so good to be that big of a door. Think so? I wish I was up there still because I'd walk up behind you and be like, what's it like? I'm like, what? What's it like this? It's a freaking door. We are in a um, pet store and I'm checking out the fish. Not like I need any pets right now. They sure are cute. There, there's Nemo. Oh wow, look at that. Yeah, what other pet store you know you go to get different That's pretty. It's for the saltwater tanks. Everybody, it is Saturday here. I am heading to Clifty Falls. I am in Madison, Indiana, and it is a beautiful hot day, and I am excited about where I'm going. So I'll take you guys with me, and hopefully you'll enjoy it too. So we are going down Trail 5 in this beautiful park and I am excited. I'm in shorts. I probably should be home packing, but I'm out exploring because it's a beautiful day. Oh, we can grill out down here even, dude. Yeah. Oh, good little spot. This is so pretty here. We're going to go down those yeah, stairs in just a minute. It's gorgeous. Look at that little seat. 
It's so pretty. I can't wait. We're going to find a tunnel. They said it was 45 degrees. I know it. Look at that. It's a lot. <laughs> we'll be fine. <laughs> this is so pretty. So you have to go up and over on the rock to get across to the other side and not fall off like Russell says. So away we go. Sure, go first. See the other side to look at Oh, okay, you're right. You could have went. Look how pretty it is. I hope you guys are happy I'm back behind the camera. Look at that. It's gorgeous. We can hear the water. Um, I'm just starting slowly to vlog again. And that's sad. I hate that they put plastic in there, though. And, um,. We are just enjoying this beautiful day. Walking through that section, get I know. I think, do it, wait, well, okay. Uh, it's the same trail. Okay. One high, one low. Oh, look at this. Little steps. Yeah, like that, she'll cut it up like that. Somebody did it right here. Look at this beautiful rock wall. Yep. It's gorgeous. The water is down there. We can see it. I can't wait. I don't think I'm going swimming, but you never know. I'm going this way. He's going that way. It's down there, ain't it? Look, I see more water. Yay! Uh, we can keep going, or you can start. Let's start going down. You sure? I see a cave opening or something. You want to go get it in the cave? Where's the tunnel? I don't know. Oh, that's right. We got a tunnel. That's why we came this way. Hold on. We need to look at our map. So this is the entrance of the cave. It feels amazing already. Or the tunnel. I'm not sure. It is a hike on these rocks. For sure. Here, but it might be slick. Got it. Thank you. <laughs> I've got my stuff with me. Why aren't we going up this way? Because it's muddy. I left the Nikes in the car. I probably should have worn them. I concentrate on getting out these rocks. So we are in the tunnel. And it's so much cooler in here. You can see people coming with their flashlights. It's muddy back here and slick. And it feels amazing. <laughs> so we drove down to the cliff, or what are they called? What's this called? Um, Cliffy Falls. Falls, that's it. We drove down to this part because we walked forever. And I actually changed clothes because I brought some with me. It was covered in mud. And I got my Nikes on now. And it's so pretty back here. I don't see anybody down there. That's close to I don't know. Well, maybe. So here's the campground at Clifty Falls. And we're going up to that's, where the hotel is. That's one campground. That's the campground where the park is. Yeah. Not the kind that you pop a tent. There's the youth tent area.
y'all climb around in it. into the tower, the observation tower. Oh. Oh, look at the bunny, you guys. Can you zoom in? Yep, I did. See? No, that right there would be a male. No, stop it. No, no, if we was out here camping, that would be a male. One <laughs> For side, you. I'm going to the restaurant. One side I'm going to the restaurant. Three. Couple potatoes in that. Yuck. Room. Oh my god. Crazy. <laughs> I'm going to the restaurant. Hey, I know of a restaurant that serves rabbit. Oh, they can time. keep serving it because I'm not interested. Yep. Look how pretty it is. We made it. Oh! We made it on top of the tower, you guys. This is. Basically, the Ohio Valley. Okay, he said, that's ugly. I'm a sweaty mess. This is so pretty. That is the Ohio Valley, and that was the bridge we went across just a little bit ago, wasn't it? Yeah. And if you go down further in that river, if you go down further, there will be the other bridges that we're on all the time that take you. Oh, shit. Those are this way on the river. this way, he said. I thought they were that way. Okay, they're that way on the river. That's Ohio, that way. Okay, fair enough. Um, the other bridges are. So, this is nice. It's nice. This is the lookout tower. Okay, so I went to the store. I thought I would share this haul with you. It's just a small one, and I'm in the middle of, like, moving and everything. So, I didn't buy a lot of food that I have to prepare. Obviously, I went to Walmart. We got some chips and some ranch dressing dip, which I love. I also got some Pam and some goldfish grams. These are the best ones. And here's some sweet meds. And let's see, we got some juice. This is the V8 Splash Tropical Blend. Got some oil because I realized I was completely out and I needed that. I got some sugar. I got this kind of container, this one. And let's see, I got in this one some grapes, well, some potatoes, 
Some grapes. Love the grapes. The red ones just didn't look good. I got some mac and cheese, which is going to be like dinner. Don't you guys get on me for this not being healthy, because I don't care. I hiked enough today that I think I can pretty much eat what I want. I've been really enjoying the Sara Lee um, artisanal bread. Really good. Some Pop-Tarts. These are cherry. Let's see. Here's another dinner item, believe it or not. I love these beef and cheese sticks. I got um, some silver meals. This one is the um, Salisbury steak with mac and cheese. Here's the turkey one that I love a lot. It's one of my favorites. And then, which one's this? I got, oh, I got two blows turkeys. Oops, got a small one. And then, let's see. I got these big boxes because um, I really like them. The kids and everything like them. I got the Fridays, potato skins, the wings, and the mozzarella sticks. So that is like a dinner for everybody one night. I also got some Luna Protein Bars. These are the Salted Caramel. Two of these are beef and broccoli. Super, super, super delicious. And um, I got some of the sticky white rice to go with it. I also, we also got some of the country gravy. And he doesn't know what a food all is. And some of these craft twists and some biscuits. And then... The better be crescent rolls. Crescent rolls, I'm sorry. Crescent rolls, he said. Then some salads. We got four different salads. Two toasty and bacon cob. One seizure. And yes, I just, I don't want to make a salad, you guys. Um, another turkey and bacon. <laughs> and some, a snack tray. Again, another dinner. And this one, we have the last salad, which is chicken seizure. And then we have a big gallon of milk and some ginger ale. I also got some Red Bull and some Mountain Dew. So that's what I got. It's just a very simple haul and um, it's time to put it up. <laughs> oh my god you guys. I'm sorry. It's crazy. Um, but he's helpful. And he's, he's helped me. And this is enough just to like get me through and not have to cook. So I know this looks like a mess but I've been taking loads out to where I'm going to be staying and um, I'm just kind of loading stuff up, taking it out, bringing the baskets back. These are just really my personal effects, like from my bookshelf and stuff. And I had some extra plates and stuff. And they're paper and I won't have to wash them as much. Um, my cute little coffee cups are going out. These are the only ones I plan on having um, with me on a daily basis for a little while. My mom bought me these. I know I probably didn't share these with you. Hold on, let me see if I can get them out. She got me these, and these are salt and pepper shakers, and I'm definitely taking those with me. And she also got me this really nice porcelain mug that says, The struggle is real with an adorable kitty cat. She got these for me um, when she was up here for the family reunion. I think they're adorable. Another project I've been working on is removing like those papers um, from the wall where I was going to do this gallery wall. Now I'm still going to do a gallery wall whenever I do finally move into, you know, like an apartment or a little house or something. Um, but honestly, it's going to be of my like real family, not the people that thought I was disposable or anything like that. So I got that little project done and the walls are clean and hopefully it will, you know, make the landlord a little happier. Um, yeah, there's just a lot to do. I don't know how much I'm going to get done. Um, I don't know if I'm going to store this stuff or what I plan on doing with a lot of it. Obviously, Scott walked out. I'm scared we're going to be evicted before he can get in the house and get, you know, whatever. But I guess that's on him and really not me because... Um, you know, trying to move all of this. And I had this in here trying to set my camera up on it the other day. Um, trying to move, like, all of this alone is, like, really hard. And um, I do have some friends that, you know, can help and stuff. But I'm not moving his stuff. He is, he is shit out of luck on that. Um, but the weather here has been extremely hot. And um, it's just been... It's been blistering.
but hopefully we'll get a rain today and it won't be so so hot we got everything moved out of the bathroom for Brittany um, and her bedroom today or my ex-husband came over and Russell and him and I helped um, so that's done at least and I still have you know much more to do okay so you can see that you know I have been out I'm trying to lose some weight um, I already lost 180 pounds, so you can't get better than that. But I'm trying to lose a little weight, and I've been hiking a lot with Russell, which is not happening today because of my ankle. I've been going to a lot of fun things like, you know, I'm not sitting at home crying. I am out enjoying nature, and he enjoy, like, we enjoy everything. Like, he loves owls, and I love owls, and he loves hiking, and, you know, it's just like, it's like this. And, um... I just feel blessed because of him and I've been getting out a lot more I went down the new walking bridge and that was freaking cool I hadn't done that with Scott like Scott's old he wants to sit on his ass or play golf and you know I'm you know or sitting in a movie something like that but we have been active and um, I hope that helps with losing weight I hope being on my feet at work um, which will hurt tomorrow will help with losing weight and all of that but I think it will just come off on its own at least I hope and um, I'm thinking about getting a trainer eventually um, I have a good friend who trains up here and I'm gonna talk to her and see if we can like figure something out um, I'm just excited about the possibilities of life without Scott it's like amazing and I wouldn't be saying it if it wasn't true so there are no tears there are mainly just smiles unless i have to talk to him like i want him erased i, I wish i could erase him from the planet but more importantly erase him from my mind i don't want to think about him i don't want to look at his face all the pictures are gone um you know i had to sell the hedgehog and i'm getting rid of my animals and i miss my dog and i miss zane and i didn't talk a lot about zane in the other video just because you know i mean it's hard but I miss him, and regardless, like I've told him, of who his parents are or how they act, I still really want good things for him. So, um, you know, that's what's been a little bit hard, and um, you guys left so many comments, and I think I've got over 500 messages in Facebook, and I cannot answer all of them in a timely manner. I have less time with working and packing right now, and um you know trying to make a little time to go hiking or something like that so i have less time to answer them please don't stop sending your thoughts in so many of you have inspired me i think that's made it easier and i promise i'm just answering a few at a time doesn't necessarily mean the order they came in either because there are just so many i feel your love i feel your support i i couldn't be more blessed I told you I'm not going to quit making YouTube videos. I'm nowhere near it. And I I just love you guys. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. And let me hear your thoughts below. You guys don't have to tell me not to rush in with anything with Russell. I'm not. We're just being friends. We're working on our friendship. And then maybe once the divorce is final, maybe we'll step it up a little bit. I mean, he's still cute to me. We have so much in common. He's, he's nothing like Scott nothing he's funnier he's nicer he is um sweeter and more kind and he doesn't give me the bullshit that that scott did so you know maybe one day there is going to be a future i don't know but i'm having fun with him and i hope you guys enjoyed him in the video a little bit slowly putting him into the video because i was nervous he doesn't even like his picture taken but i think he's just gotten used to the camera um regardless and so he didn't mind i've talked to him today about it and he's supposed to be over a little bit later and i don't know what we're going to do but hopefully we find something fun to do together and um that's life. I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.